is a mikvah. Mikvah means gathering in Hebrew. A mikvah is a collection of water. The word mikvah refers literally to a gathering of water. The mikvah water itself must fulfill two major requirements to be valid according to Jewish law. The first requirement is that it must be natural water from a source such as rainwater or a natural spring. This water must be gathered in a very specific manner so that the natural status is not invalidated by human intervention. Not every lake, stream, or river falls into this category, however. These seemingly natural bodies of water may be man-made or have other considerations that render them invalid for use as a mikvah. Their status as a mikvah needs to be determined by an Orthodox rabbi of Jewish law who is competent in this domain. The second requirement is size. The actual immersion pool of the mikvah must contain a minimum of approximately 198 gallons, 40 seya, of water. This is the size determined by Jewish law, halacha, that will allow the average human body to immerse all at once. It is imperative that a person is able to completely immerse him or herself and be totally surrounded by the mikvah water. That's what a mikvah is. Can an Olympic-sized swimming pool be used as a mikvah? Of course not. It is indeed large enough. However, it is not built according to the exact halachic requirements necessary to be considered a kosher mikvah, nor is the water it contains from a natural source. As already mentioned, the water used in the mikvah must have a natural source. Rainwater is generally used in the construction of an indoor mikvah. When the actual immersion pool of the mikvah is being filled with water, we can see how all of this works. Most mikvahs have an excellent filtering system that keeps the water clean, clear, and pristine. Every time the mikvah immersion pool is drained, the walls are disinfected and it is then refilled with pure, clean tap water. So where is this natural water we have told you about? Do you see the black hole on the bottom of the immersion area? If you would run down the stairs and put your hand into that opening, your hand would enter a rainwater reservoir, the bar that lies directly beneath this immersion chamber. This rainwater reservoir is what constitutes the natural component of this mikvah. The rainwater reservoir is almost equal in size to the immersion pool area. While the minimum size would be approximately 198 gallons, most mikvahs are more generous and exceed the minimum size required. The rainwater stored here was collected and stored in the bar of this mikvah, but not all in one day. Once a mikvah is constructed according to exact halachic specifications, the first thing that is done is to collect the rainwater into this special reservoir. It is vital that the rainwater flow only through channels that cannot be considered a vessel. Rainwater flowing down to the reservoir through a pipe or other vessel that can contain it without leaking or spoilage would be stripped of its natural status. Sometimes a PVC pipe that is open at both the top and the bottom ends is used. These openings ensure that the pipe does not become a container. The pipe then extends all the way to the roof. When the rainwater reservoir of the mikvah is filled, whether for the very first time at its opening or any time thereafter when the rainwater is changed, fresh rainwater comes down directly through this channel and flows into the rainwater chamber through that hole. It can take anywhere from three to five months or more, depending upon the season and the rainfall at any particular time for the mikvah rainwater reservoir to completely fill. The rainwater reservoir is then capped off and the immersion chamber is refilled with fresh city water. The opening from the immersion chamber to the rainwater reservoir is the juncture where the two waters meet, or kiss. Once the immersion chamber is filled, the cap on the rainwater reservoir is removed, allowing the two waters to kiss, have contact thereby bestowing natural status upon the water used for the actual immersion. We don't immerse our bodies in the rainwater directly, but the fact that the waters mingle and kiss is sufficient. This is how an indoor mikvah can be built with natural water. This is significantly more convenient than using an ocean, for example. This framework of Jewish law, arranged by the geniuses of the Talmud, 
makes mikvah so much more accessible and convenient. The mikvah we see here with the rainwater reservoir, the bar, located beneath the immersion pool is the preferred method for a Chabad mikvah. Because the rainwater is cold, surprisingly little dilution occurs and the rainwater remains intact for quite some time. A timer on this particular drain system prevents the water from emptying below floor level, thus dredging up the precious rainwater. The rainwater is then able to remain down in its chamber, undisturbed, for as long as possible. Other mikvahs may be constructed with the rainwater reservoir on the side of the immersion chamber. The rainwater reservoir then has to be blocked off while the water from the immersion chamber is drained and refilled. This method may allow a greater amount of mixing and dilution to take place. Both methods of construction, however, are strictly kosher and in adherence with the proper laws of mikvah construction. It is imperative that even the most minute detail of indoor mikvah construction follows the halachic guidelines necessary to ensure it will indeed be fit for mikvah use in the same way as a natural outdoor body of water. Therefore, the correct construction of a mikvah requires an Orthodox rabbi who is experienced in all the details of the laws of mikvah to ensure it is built correctly. Once completed, a mikvah needs continued supervision in order for it to retain its kosher status. No structural changes or repairs may be done without the rabbi's express permission and supervision. Even calling a plumber for the plumbing of the mikvah itself requires notification of the rabbi. The mikvah, a gathering of water.